just like every other business, there are certain things you have to put in order first before getting started. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly everything you need to learn first before you think of going into fish farm. In my previous video, I can remember showing you guys my pond. Yeah, I can remember showing you guys my pond. And as at that time, they were still constructing this other one at that time. But guess what, guys? The second pond is ready. Come on, come on, guys. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. The second pond is ready. Oh, girl. I can't wait. I can't wait for all of this to start coming alive. I can't wait. Mine is an netting pond, as you all can see, but these procedures that I'm going to be outlining right now is definitely going to show you guys all you know, all you need to know about starting up a fish farm in general. I'm not just talking about starting up a, a, uh, an etting pond, I'm talking about starting up a fish pond in general. So, for every business to be successful, you need adequate planning for it. That's one is not something you have to um, think about. You have to plan yourself very well. Whether you have the money or not, you always have to plan yourself. In short, even if you don't have the money and you have a very good plan, definitely you would always find your way around making things right for yourself. Now, before you get started, the very, very first thing that I think you should just think about is looking for a mentor. Yeah, trust me, that is very, very important. Getting a mentor for whatever business it is that you are about going into is as important as the business itself. Now, talking about the mentorship, I, when I was getting started, I did a lot of um, research, just as I said initially, and I found a whole lot of people that are into fish farming. Yes, a whole lot of people that are into fish farming majority of which are not successful. I was always wondering, why is, are they always saying that there's so much uh, goodies in this fish farming and yet a lot of people abandon it for other costs. Why? Why is it like that? Then I realized that these people did not just plan themselves very well. Yes, trust me, they did not plan themselves very well. As you mean they plan themselves very well, definitely they will not have to abandon this kind of profitable business to go and do all that things. Your mentor doesn't necessarily have to be doing exactly the same kind of pond that you're using. Yes, because we have different kinds of pond. We have our etin pond, we have our tarpaulin pond, we have the concrete pond, and um, we have the plastic tack pond. My own mentor actually uses the um, concrete pond, yes. I, my mentor is actually someone I, I, I found on YouTube, someone I found on YouTube like this, someone that inspired me to finally decide to just, okay, yes, you have to go into this. Then after making that decision on that very day, I have not changed my mind ever since then. Instead, I've always been happy. Um, aside getting a mentor, you have to make sure you get yourself involved. You have to get yourself involved in the business. Yes, you have to get yourself involved in the business. Before I started talking about digging my own pond, I went for a physical training. Yes, I went to um, uh, to different ponds. Yes, actually, I went to a pond that they use um, the tarpaulin pond. Yeah, I went there to do um, some trainings. I was there for about two weeks. About two weeks. I went to another one that uses um, the, um, concrete pond, and I was there for about two weeks too. Yeah. But this etting pond, I went there last. That was the last place I visited because me, yeah, I didn't just want to go into this business blindly because of what other people think or feel about the business. I wanted to go into the business with facts. Yes, I wanted to go to, into the business with facts. So I visited all, all the kinds of ponds around that I could find here in Lagos. I went to a particular pond sometime and then the person uses etting pond. Trust me. For me to have decided to use Etin Pond after visiting all other ponds, it means Etin Pond actually has a lot to offer than every other pond you can ever think of. 
Now, we've talked about you getting a mentor for your business. And another thing again we've talked about now is getting yourself involved in the business. Here's a practical training, apart from just watching videos like this on YouTube. To be frank with you, I learned most of everything that I know right now online from a lot of people I met online. You get, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you should not get yourself involved physically. Yes, you should get yourself soiled, your hands soiled, get yourself involved, feed the fishes, get get custom to the business itself physically without not just um, watching videos online yeah it's very very important as well so another thing now is deciding what kind of pond exactly you want to use yes i'm always saying that 13 pond is the best but it is not for everyone yeah it is not for everyone you can watch my previous video my previous video will actually show you why i said 18 pond is not for everyone if it is 18 pond that you can use fine you get you you, you you decide if it is 18 pond if it is um tarpaulin pond you're going to use you should decide on okay this is the tarpaulin pond it's tarpaulin pond i'm going to use then if it is concrete pond then fine that is the next step deciding on which kind of pond you want to use yeah so now after deciding on the kind of pond you want to use the next point now is for you to employ a professional see this thing is not something that you have to debate about it is very 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 important the business that you're about to start is as good as the person that is starting up the business for you you employ what a professional a lot of people might be meeting you and be telling you that um i'm going to actually do this for you cheap I can do it for you for less. I will not collect as much money as the other person is demanding for. But trust me, don't ever think about that. Don't look at the money from the start. Always think about the future. Yes, always think about the future when you're starting a business like this, especially with a business that involves a lot of money like this. A lot of money. Trust me, the business involves a lot of money and you don't want to gamble with your money. If you have money to gamble for with me, personally i don't have money to gamble with so if you are going to if you're going to set up your farm just make sure you do what you employ a professional yes make sure you do what you employ a professional the last but not the least you see this one in particular now a lot of people think about it that um the only time i will start doing my own market survey is when i've started already and i've um and i have fishes to sell no to be frank with you, I went for my market survey like four or five months before I even start thinking about constructing this pond entirely. Because I see some people complain that um, we, after producing our fishes, we couldn't get a market for it. There's nobody to buy our fishes from us. And me, I am not planning on doing um, a, a, a small fish pond. I'm not planning on doing just a backyard fish pond. What I'm planning on doing is actually a 15,000 capacity fish pond. If you are into this business, you will know that 15,000 capacity is it's not too much but at least it's a lot it's a lot it's not something you can you will just um, wake up one day and um, this is just find somebody that was going to buy it all at once it's something that you have to go for your market survey and um, get get yourself involved in the markets in the market in this in the markets yes get yourself involved in the market before i got started i sold fishes in the market as in, i know this is going to sound very 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 funny but i sold fishes in the market i joined the market women to sell fish yes, i got myself involved in the market i went to the market to learn how to sell these fishes so that i would know exactly how much it is that these fishes have been sold for in the market if it is for the drying those who dry i visited some people who dry fishes i got myself involved in the drying uh, in the processing i help them sell in the market i help them supply to people i'm not saying everybody have to do that but me personally i just felt that it is important because it's not making sense after wasting so much time after using your own time and money in setting up stuff like this you will not now know how to go about selling the produce it doesn't make sense to me so as for me i went to the market i did a lot of market survey i visited different markets different parts of lagos yes i joined the market women to sell in the market i invested so much money in it as well because i went to some farms to buy fishes from them during their harvest and then go to the farm to the market to sell with other people 
yes, you should also consider that if you know you have the time. Oh, I would like for you to subscribe, to consider subscribing and clicking on the like button and probably use the comment section too to ask me whatever question you need to ask me. Because this channel you are seeing here now is going to serve as a documentary for my fish farm, for my farm from A to Z, from the very beginning till the end. So on this farm, I will not be hiding anything from you. Anything entirely will not be hidden from you because I found out that it, I, I, I checked a lot of videos on YouTube and then realized that there are not so many people who, sh who, who, who show us everything that we need to know about eating ponds. But on this channel, just know that it's your final bus stop for you to learn everything that has to do with fish farming from a to z from when i'll be going to when i'll be raising the fishes from um from when i'm going to be buying my my juveniles because it's big juveniles that i'm going to be stocking in this farm from when i'm going to be buying my juveniles to when i'm going to be buying my feed to when i'm going to be feeding them how long it's going to take for me to actually harvest them and how much i'm going to be selling them out every detail will be Will be, will be posted on this on this particular YouTube page. So what I just want to encourage you to do is to click on the subscribe button so that when all these things will be happening, you will be the first person to get it. Thank you very much. Till we meet another time.